Yo guys, what's up? It's Cray, and um, today I have a tutorial for you guys, and it's uh, how to use the pull tool in Cinema 4D. And a lot of you guys have been asking me how to do this because I've used it in my uh, bender modeling when I did the eyes, um, when I did the eyes, the mouth. I also did it on my thorax, like when I. It's like basically on how to engrave, how to cut holes, how to um, pull stuff out. Excuse me, I'm really sick still. I still have a sore throat. And if you guys hear like a little buzzing noise, uh, that's my heater that I have going on. It's really cold because it's still, it's still morning. It's 8 a.m. But, um, yeah, it's on how to engrave. And uh, so, yeah, let's just get started Cinema 4D. And so, let's say you want a sphere, right? So, let's just open up a sphere. Higher up the segments. The higher the segments, the better it is. Uh, let's just make this bigger. Hold on, let me change my workspace to 16.9 so I have a lot more to work with. Alright, so and then once you do that, just go to a cylinder and let's say you want to make this tighter. Let's say you want the cylinder to just engrave and cut through this sphere so you can see through the sphere from the shape of the cylinder. You just put the cylinder on the top layer, on top of the sphere, and then you go to the bull tool. And you import you import both of these inside of the bowl. And once you do that, you'll see that um, it, the sphere cut out the cylinder. And this is how that looks. And um, the reason why I did that was because the cylinder was on top. So you would want the sphere to be on top of the cylinder. And once you do that, you can see that it's engraved. And you can see directly right through that. And this is cool when you're making like animations or um, I don't know you could use this for intros I guess like creating a scene or I don't know you can use this for many different things but remember guys it's Cinema 4D Cinema 4D is not just for intros it's uh, for animation so instead of making intros like every day and all the time try to make an animation post a video response of you guys doing this on my channel on any of my videos. Uh, if you guys do create something cool with the bull tool, show me, post a video response, send me a link of your video, I'd love to see it. And um, yeah, it's a great way for other people to see your videos if you don't have a lot of subs. But yeah, let's see what else we can create with this. Um, hmm. Let's try getting a cube. Let's try to make like a little animation. Let's see. Hmm. What can we do? What can we do? All right, let's say let's auto keyframe this. So let's say you want it to start off zero, 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 and then you want it to go big like that. So this is what it does, and then like right here. You can just make it go in and then go out this way. I don't know what I'm creating here. I'm just trying to make something. And then right here, you can just do this, do that, and then just. I don't know. It's just something you guys can create. Look, it looks pretty cool. But it's just something really easy. You guys can spend more time on this. Create cool little animations like this. And um, I've made like 10 animations, 5 to 10 animations that I really liked. And I was really bored when I made these. So uh, I don't know if I should post each video individually, like from time to time, or just make it, put them all in one video. So make sure you guys let me know in the comments. If you guys have a tutorial request, please let me know. Post a comment, send me a message, post a comment on my channel, whatever. But um, yeah, I'm here to help you guys. And if you guys have a, like, if it's something hard, like, uh, that not a lot of people know, like a tutorial, I'll make a video. But if it's something small, like, and a lot of people know, then just message me on Skype and I'll screen, I'll share my screen with you and I'll show you guys how to do it. But, uh, yeah, also, I'm getting my Mac. I already ordered it, and uh, it should be coming 
either tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, whatever. But, yeah, let me know if you guys want me to do an unboxing. You guys will get to see me. Because um, I'd like to thank you guys. Because without you guys, I don't think I would have ever got this Mac. Um, you guys helped me out a lot. And um, let's see, what else? Uh, oh, yeah, so I owe, like, a few people intros, like, two to three people intro in the background. Because they paid, and I know who you guys are. But um, I'm going to finish. I'm going to make that. I'm going to make those backgrounds in the intros, and then uh, I'm going to stop taking orders because uh, I'm working with bigger companies right now, and uh, I'm doing deals with them. Some of them I'm getting paid. Some of them it's just for recognition. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to be busy with those. I'll keep you guys updated what's going on. I can't say too much, but, yeah, I have, like, three, two websites I'm working with and, like, three YouTube channels I'm working with, but... It's pretty awesome, and I'd just like to thank you guys for that, because once again, without you guys, I don't think I would have ever gotten that. But, um, what else? There was something else. Oh yeah, my new logo. Uh, I hope you guys like it. My old one, everyone said it looked, a lot of people, not everyone, a lot of people said it looked like strats, and I kind of didn't really like it anyways. So, I changed it, and I made this one. It's nice and simple. kind of looks professional. I like it a lot. But, it's all pen tool. Besides a C, I couldn't figure out how to make the C perfectly, like even and stuff. So I just used the font, the typography font, and I just edited the bottom and did some, did all the other design by hand with the pen tool in Illustrator. But um, let's see what else. I think that's it. So make sure you rate and comment this video. And this is just the basics on how to use a bull tool. And you don't necessarily need to use a bull tool like for engraving and stuff. You can also just see let's uncheck this let's move this out of the way grab the sphere make it editable and then uh, you want to click this selection loop selection and then select all and by doing this you just right click extrude and you just click on one of these and you can pull it out like that so like let's say you're making a face I guess this is a nose and then uh, you can by clicking and holding shift you can collect, uh, select multiple squares, and uh, let's move this around. You can't really select that one. I have no idea why, but then like you can make like an eye, I guess, a socket for an eye. But remember, the more segments you have, the better it's going to look, because as you can see, it pulls back from each segment, so it kind of looks sharp. I don't know why I clicked that. It kind of looks sharp right here. So if you had a lot, a lot more segments, it would look better. But yeah, you can do this for, um, like I guess, let's say if you have a sphere, it's like a meteor or asteroid. I don't know what kind of animation you're doing. Uh, let's make this smaller. And like you want it to impact or something, so you keyframe it to impact and it just goes inside like this little hole. And then the back of it just pulls back like if it's hitting and it looks more realistic and stuff. But yeah, oh look, it kind of looks like he has a mohawk. <laughs> but um yeah, it's just something like that. Just make more animation. Start, stop like making a lot of intros and stuff because that's what Cinema 4D is really for. Experiment with all your tools. Remember, there's not the Cinema 4D is not just a Motex and it's not just a text object for intros. It's for many different things like all these things right here, the arrays, the bends, and the lighting and emitters and stuff like that. You also have a bunch of different stuff right here. I know a lot of people haven't even touched and uh, so yeah just mess around with Cinema 4D um, but yeah that's basically it so I'd like to thank you guys one more time and um, yeah so just let me know what kind of tutorials you guys would like next speed ups Photoshop tutorials maybe some illustrated tutorials on how to create logos I don't know let me know but yeah I'll talk to you guys later see ya